Hey guys, Moki here with another video. Not sure what I'm going to talk about right now. I just know it's a good day. Well, it's a sad day, but shockingly, it's a good day. I know that makes no sense to you guys. Today would have been my parents' five-year wedding anniversary, uh, but, you know, everyone knows how that went, so that's what makes it a bad day. But I feel good today. Right now, in this moment, I feel good. Um, I'm just out getting some fresh air, enjoying, enjoying the morning sun, uh, the morning air, the morning ambiance. The ambiance of morning life is orgasmic to me, and I don't, I don't know what it is about it, but I love mornings. I'm not a morning person, <laughs> but when I'm actually up in the morning, it's amazing to me. Um, just the smell and the breeze and the temperature, everything, everything about it. I don't know how to explain it. I hope the audio sounds okay. Um, I know I'm not using my microphone right now. I haven't in the past couple of videos, so I know the audio is different. Um, I hope y'all can forgive me. Still doing my thing. Um, we'll get back to the, the correct process eventually. Uh, right now my main focus is just getting content, you know, I don't care if it's poor quality or, I mean, obviously I don't want to give out poor quality, but you know what I mean? Like you all saw my last video, the one I did in the park and that was like, just spare the moment. I want to do this and I did it and it did, you know, I'm not gonna say it didn't turn out great. I thought the video was very nice. I mean, it's very nice, but you know what I mean? It's not the typical setup where I have all the lights surrounding me and I have the microphone, blah, blah, blah. But it looked like y'all enjoyed it too. It's got quite a few views and I am very happy. I noticed that when I was editing that and getting it ready to launch on YouTube, that my previous video, my Halloween collection uh, video, it's like almost at 100 views, I think. And that's insane to me. You know, because my videos get traction, but obviously they don't get a lot of traction yet, right? Just to see that amount of people watched that video. It just, it, it, oh, the feeling. The feeling is nice. It's nice. And I figured that, I know a lot of people like collection videos, and I collect a lot of shit. <laughs> So, you know, I've really been thinking about what, what other collections I can show off. Like, oh my god, my plushies. I know I've done, like, one or two videos of my plushie collection. I have so many plushies. You don't understand how many plushies I have. Like, I could do that. I could do uh, my shot glasses. I mean, I collect so many things. You know, I can do clothing collections, bag collections. I've done that, too. You know, with my... um with my Dooney and Burke and my um, Marc Jacobs and then all my other ones as well. My New York specific ones, my Pumas. Like I love, I just collect so much shit. I don't know what this video is. I'm just kind of rambling, but I thought it was very pretty. So I just kind of wanted to pull off to the side and do a video. Autumn is this week and I cannot wait. Um, I've been kind of doing that. I kind of just been going through my clothes and um, if y'all follow me on my socials, you all see I've been doing a lot of rearranging, reorganizing, repacking, unpacking um, things since life has changed its course for me. Uh, you know, I'm just making my situation at home more comfortable because, you know, it was a mess before packing this and, you know, putting this away to move to Jersey and getting this ready and, you know, just so much. So now I got to go through all that again. And uh, have it set up very comfortably for me, where I don't feel cluttered, I don't feel messy, I don't feel all these things that I currently feel. And of course it makes sense, because my life is cluttered and my life is messy, and, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I've been doing that, so I've been going through and like, okay, these summer clothes can go in and be put up. Holy shit, I forgot I, ha I had these uh, autumn slash winter clothes. Let me go ahead and pull these out. They're cute. You know, so I've just kind of been doing that, playing around, and my room is still cluttered. And that's another reason why I don't shoot videos. Um, because not only my room, but our, our house is... It's not messy, but it's cluttered. It is a little messy in the sense of that there's just a lot going on. Um... Because, again, we plan to not live here. You know, we were planning to move to Jersey, right? So there was so much 
you know, this pile can get put up in a box and this pile can go here and this can go there. And we don't have to worry about that. We can worry about that when we move. And now we're not. So now it's a lot in our house. And let me just say, so we moved into my late great grandmother's house. Right. So her stuff is still there um, because my papa didn't want to get rid of anything and respect to him. Um, and then, of course, while she was alive and well, you know, she had certain things from her family members, you know, down the line. So, there's a lot in this house. And this house is not a big house. It's a comfortable house. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's less. Don't quote me, because I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it's less than 3,000 square feet, maybe? I'm 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 guessing it's at like 2500 I do believe I think. Anyway, it's a comfortable house. Um but it's not the biggest, but we have so much stuff. And it's fucked up. I mean, my dad's stuff's there too. Uh you know, cuz when he up and left, he's like, mm, "I don't want shit." <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we have a lot of stuff. Uh and I've been trying my hardest working through it when I have the energy to when my you know my head isn't killing me y'all know I have um well you all don't know but for those of you who watched my video in February of 2020 I do believe is when I dropped it uh February 2021 excuse me memory um, February 2021 I dropped the video about my traumatic brain injury um, I have not gone into detail about that at all for almost two years almost December will be two years um, but I'm getting very close to the point where I can talk about it um, but anyway for those of you who know me personally or you know on my personal social such as Facebook that I don't obviously give out um, you all know that I have a tra you know a traumatic brain injury I have brain pro um, a head problem brain problem I don't know it's all a fucking problem there's problems going on in here now because of an incident. So when I'm able to manage the pain or have the energy or, you know, the factors that play, when I have everything aligned, I'm able to do stuff around the house. Um, that's when I really push myself to do it because uh, it is, it's, it's work. <laughs> it is work. Let me tell you the amount of stuff. And it's not, I don't know how to explain it. That's not important. Any, anyways, I don't, so that's why I don't really shoot videos. Because um, I really don't like shooting in my room. Because I feel, I've grown from my room. You know what I mean? And if you watch my channel, or you know, if you subscribe to my channel in any kind of way, you know that my videos have always been like, oh, we're going here, we're going to go do this, we're going to do that. Now just to constantly sit in that room and do videos. I don't like it because I feel like I'm in a jail cell. And I know that's just a personal thing. I get it. Because I've literally been in that space for a very long time dealing with my brain injury. And dealing with separation. And dealing with divorce. And dealing with traumas. Dealing with traumas. You know, that's really what it comes down to. So, uh, that's why I decided to do this video, and it's so random, and I'm just talking. You know what? It's probably just going to be raw like the last one. And I think this is really what I need, because I can truly talk for myself. I can say things that I want to say, and I don't want to feel like, oh, is this good, or is this bad, or will they like this, or will they not? Though those are things to think about... It's good to be raw because, listen, we are all human. And I know I say that in, like, almost every video, but it's true. We're, we're human. You know, I'm not a robot. I mean, how cool would it be if I was, I assume? But, you know, I'm sadly, I'm not. I do. I have emotions. I feel emotions. I feel pain. You know, I feel envy. I feel all these things. While we're here, let me show you something my mom got me. Look how cute this is. Oh, it's really bright. It's, um, there you go. So it's two butterflies, and it's a scent thingy. 
It smells so good. It's an air um, event scent thingy. They're really cute. I hope you all have had an amazing uh, end of summer. Uh, it is almost autumn and the fun can finally begin. Praise God, hopefully. <laughs> Um, I hope you have a beautiful day. Just know, if y'all are going through anything, you're not alone. There are so many people out here going through things. And sometimes we can put on a happy face, sometimes we can't. And if you can't, that's okay. Because like I just said a little bit ago, we're not robots, right? We're human. So, the point is to surround yourself with understanding people. And let them know you love them, even if you're being a bitch. But... I really love you. I'm sorry I'm being a cunt. I just don't feel good. Okay? It's all it is. Life's hard, but, you know, life is also what you make it. And I think that's true because... And I don't think they contradict them, themselves at all because life is fucking hard. And life is what you make it, yes. But, you know, it's not like my family woke up and be like, mm, you know what, let's fucking separate and just destroy everything. So, in that sense, life's fucking hard. Shit can happen. That's out of your control. But what is in your control is how you heal from it, how you deal with it. I'm sorry if you can hear my fucking stomach rumbling. I love that every time I want to shoot a video, something happens. Like, you haven't fucking talked in a long time. And now that I'm doing a video, my... Tina the talking tummy wants to say hello. I'd be really embarrassed if I play this back and you don't hear tummy sounds and I'm I know y'all heard that. <laughs> anyway, life is what you make it about how you deal with your things and how you heal and it doesn't mean you're not gonna be perfect about it. I'm not. I'm not. I have moments where I'm really good and I'm really okay. Like right now, I feel great. And then in 10 minutes, I could be fucking mad as fuck about how life has played out. What the goal is, is to make progress. You can go to fucking do a 180 backflip and be this miraculous, I feel great, I'm on top of the world, nothing bothers me, I'm okay. And then do another 180 and be lower than dirt. As long as you get out of the dirt, that is progress. Right? It's not a straight line. It's not simple. Life is not that fucking simple. If it was, I think everyone in this world would be happy. Anywho, I'm going to go. I'm going to get back home and relax. And I think take a nice bubble bath. I do love my bubble baths. And... Relax. Enjoy the Sunday. It's Jesus Day. Hallelujah. And we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time. I know it's going to be tough. I know today's going to be hard on my mom. She's been saying that. You know, I know today's going to be a little tough. And that's okay. Because after this day, it's over. We don't have to worry about nothing for a year. And who knows where we're going to be in a year. You know, his birthday just passed too. And that's what, you know, that's the first birthday we have to act like he doesn't exist since he existed to us so this week's been a little tough <laughs> just a little bit but we're getting through it we're getting through it and that's what matters maybe this time next year won't even fucking face us let's hope so anyway anyway I'm gonna Turn on my radio. Turn on my car and roll my windows down because it's getting hot. <laughs> Listen to some music and vibe on the way home. I love you all. Thank you all for the constant support. You all do not understand how that my Halloween collection video, I had literally have 98 views on that. And when I saw that, the euphoria I felt, the love I felt, the high that I felt like that I can never be more grateful for you guys thank you so much it's it's amazing it's amazing because when I made that video I really didn't think nothing of it 
you know, I'm just like, oh, it's another video. It's going to get, you know, a couple dozen views and, you know, that's fine. But the fact that it has almost broke a hundred is, it's great. It's great. And it lets me know what you guys want to see. So that's really enjoyable for me. The support you all give me is amazing. And I thank you so much for it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Moki out. Bye.